So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can use ES6 modules in the browser. So if you want to use the import and export statements uh, directly within your JavaScript code, then I'm going to show you how you can do this without using any additional tools. So uh, I've just got a simple index page set up uh, in my browser, which is being served by the live server uh, preview tool. And I've got an index.js file here, which has currently got nothing in it. But let's just create a new file that we want to import a module from or import a function from. So uh, let's say uh, create a new file called hello world.js. And what I'm going to do is to say uh, there's a new function in there called hello world. And all it does is just log something out to the console. So if I want to use this outside of this particular file or module, if you will, then I need to export it. So what that looks like with ES6 modules is we use the export keyword and then in curly braces, we just put all of the names of the functions or properties that we want to export uh, from this particular file. So in this case, it's just going to be that hello world function. And if I want to use that in anywhere else in my code in other files, such as the index.js file, what I need to do is say import and then give the name of the function that I'm importing. So hello world from hello world, and we need to put .js on the end of it. So if I then want to run that inside of the index.js file, I can just call the function that we created in the other module. So if we save that and then go into our index.html file, uh, we can add a reference to uh, the index.js file, uh, which theoretically should run that code and we should see hello world in the console. So uh, if I just do that now by adding a script tag and the source of that uh, will be uh, just index.js. So when I save that, you can see we get some errors in the console. Uh, so just ignore this one about the uh, runtime.last error that's re related to another plugin. But you can see here we've got an error saying that we can't use the uh, import statement outside a module. And that's because we need to tell the browser that we're using JavaScript modules uh, so that it kind of is expecting the import and export statements. So that's pretty simple to do. All we need to do with our script tag is just say type is equal to module and save that. And if I just scroll down to the output here in the console, you can see now we're getting that hello world being logged out to the console, which is coming from the hello world.js file. So that's pretty much all there is to it. If you want to use ES6 modules in the browser, you just need to make sure that anything that's using the import and export statements have the script tag type set to module. And that will just let the browser know that to expect the import and export statements and to follow the paths to import those files from the modules. So there you go, that's it for today's tip. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.